So today the scripture readings are very consoling for all of us because we know that this life that we are living is a life full of struggles, full of trials, full of challenges. So long as we live in this world, as Jesus said to the disciples, there will be tribulations. In the face of all these tribulations and trials, I think today the scripture reading is very, very consoling, eh? very consoling. Jesus said, you know, in the world you will have trouble, but be brave. I have conquered the world. But how did Jesus conquer the world? Firstly, it is clear, to conquer the world, to be able to overcome our trials and tribulations, it is not enough to just know about Jesus. That's why when Jesus said, when the disciples said to Jesus, now we are, you are speaking plainly and not using metaphors, now we know everything. And Jesus says, you know everything? Do you really know everything? Just because you have some kind of, of intellectual faith, some kind of knowledge about Jesus, that does not mean that you will stand in your faith. Because when trials come, all these things don't, um, don't register. That is why intellectual knowledge, just a superficial knowledge of our Lord, even the disciples, they knew our Lord, they knew Him well for three years. And yet when Jesus died, they all ran away. They were frightened. So knowledge alone cannot sustain our faith during times of tribulation. Not even so-called morality. In today's first reading, we are told that the Christians in Ephesus were baptized with John's baptism. It's a repentance for forgiveness of sins. So it's not just a moral conversion. Again, moral conversion, following the, observing the commandments, all these things will not stand uh, when trials set in. That's why many of us, you know, we get very discouraged and uh, we are not able to overcome our own sinfulness. Even though we know what is the right thing to do, we cannot do it simply because we don't have the strength. Just knowing what is right doesn't mean we can do it. So what is the secret? And the secret is this. Jesus said, Yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. Ah, that is the secret. When you are journeying, and you have someone by your side, when someone is supporting you, and someone is giving you strength, you will be able to overcome. That is the reason why, you know, uh, marriages, God give marriages, God give friends, they are important to sustain us, to encourage us. The secret, therefore, at the end of the day is if we want to overcome our trials, the question is, how much do we feel that God is with us? If God is with us, we can overcome all trials. If we know that God is by our side, just as Jesus said, I am not alone because the Father is with me. He was going to the Passion not by Himself. He knew that when He was going to the Passion, the Father would send His Spirit. The Father was behind Him all the while. He was not alone. He appears to be alone, but he was not alone. He knew the Father would give him that strength. The Father will back him up. And that was the kind of confidence that Jesus went forward. That is why when he died, the Father raised him from the dead because he trusted the Father even at the point of death. If we trust God in that way, especially when we are suffering, we are going through very difficult trials, if we really believed in God the Father, we will go through and good will come out of it. We might not be able to see it. We might not be able to see it now. On hindsight, we will see how the goodness of God is beyond our imagination. Even if it brings death, for example, our loved one is suffering and we pray and our loved one dies a greater good will come out of it. That is why today we are called to have this confidence. And how do we know the Father is with us? Precisely today, again, the first reading, the importance of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the love of God that is poured into our hearts. That is why as we prepare for the Feast of Pentecost, more and more the Scripture reading speaks about the Holy Spirit. 
The Holy Spirit is the one that makes us, bring us close to God the Father. Because the Spirit is the Father's love in us. The Spirit is the one that brings us close to Jesus. That is why St. Paul says in Romans 5, the love of God is, the Holy Spirit is the love of God that is poured into our hearts. If we have the love of God, we can overcome all tribulation, all trials, all sufferings. There is no worry. And so the question is this, we need to pray for the Holy Spirit. We need to pray that we might be more open, receptive, take a greater experience of the Holy Spirit, of the love of God will give us the strength, give us the power. So we cannot depend. That's why Pope Benedict makes it clear. What changes a person's life is not some kind of ethical foundation or some kind of knowledge, but it is to encounter God's love in person. And that is the Holy Spirit. And so for this, uh, let us pray so that we will know that when Jesus is with us in the Holy Spirit, we will be able to go through every trial in life, surrendering ourselves in faith. Amen.